Matt's making our annual Christmas Eve supper of, of oyster stew. So he's getting the milk. His is very simple. It's not very elaborate at all. It's just basically the milk, butter, pepper, and the oysters. Did I leave anything out, Matt? That's it. That's it. How many sticks? One. So Matt's grandfather, James, James Presley, he always had oyster stew at, on Christmas Eve, right, Matt? Yep. And Matt's father continued to do that, and then ever since me and Matt's been married, he's continued the tradition, too. So the first step is that Matt's... Um, what do you have, what do you call this? You have to do <clears throat> cutting the pads off. Could Whatever you? this little gristle is in here. Okay. I always separate those. I'm going to eat them. It's up to you. Yeah, Maybe I Matt can show us on this next one. Hold it up to the camera. Show us what we're talking about. Maybe over top of this. I know it's drippy. Yeah, right there. Peel these sweet potatoes. It's just this little gristly little pad that's inside there, and I always take those all out, okay. and separate them, put them in another bowl. Did your father and grandfather do that too? I uh -huh. guess how you learned. Uh -huh. And some people though just leave them and eat them. Uh -huh. and then once you do that, then you just kind of cut them up into pieces. I just cut them in, in and two. In two, yeah. It just makes them go further because usually you got way more liquid than you do. Oysters. Yeah. Because they're so expensive. Yeah, they are expensive. So Matt's had the milk and the butter coming to heat. He, it's not boiling, but it's probably pretty close to yeah, a simmer. I always check it with my finger. It may be gross, but <clears throat> just, just, you, you just about can't stand it. Okay, and that's when you put the oysters you in. You don't want to boil milk, of course. Yeah. So he's got all the oysters cleaned, and he's going to put them in. pepper do you like? Well, I don't like it so hot. Papaw makes it it's so hot I can't stand it so I don't like as much pepper as Matt does. Papaw. Now you just have to, how long just, does this part take? I don't know. It don't take it very long. I simmer it I don't know, five or ten minutes anyway. Just kind of keep it moving just so I don't want to don't want to boil the milk, and don't even want it to really simmer much. I just want it to get hot. And to me, move it around like that and let it get, <clears throat> let it stay in there about 10 minutes or so, you know, almost ready to simmer, and then set it off. And as it sets off, it just, I think the flavor gets soaked into the oysters and the milk mm -hmm. better. And then we'll warm it back up. When we're ready to eat it. It's good warmed up even the next day too. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's really good stuff. So in a recent video Matt and I were sharing that about it being a Christmas Eve tradition for his family and um, my family didn't observe it but we sure liked it after me and Pat did anyway after Matt brought it to us. Uh, we both loved oyster stew. I don't think nobody else much cared for it but we did. But a lot of people commented and said their tradition, they did have oyster stew, but they had it on Christmas morning. Ain't that yeah, neat? I saw yeah. That. Yeah.
we usually eat ours very simply too. We have some, we use crackers and um, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes a good meal. That broth yeah. is super, super rich and good. It's just a real comforting kind of meal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is the only time of year we yeah, eat it. Yeah, only time of year <coughs> we eat it. We should eat it more often. Um, I know a lot of people put potatoes and different things in it, more, make it more of a chowder, and I love seafood chowder. Matt does too. But for us at Christmas, on Christmas Eve, we just do it very simply like this. Yeah, and I think, I think how this originated and where it came from, I think it was really simple like this because probably that was, if they could even get the oysters, was a treat. So yeah. I, I don't think, I think, I think it was probably in the beginning done this way mm -hmm. just because it's simple and easy. When I first, um, I don't know, I guess me and Matt had been married a little while, but one Christmas we were at his his Presley family's Christmas and I was thinking about it and so they, or they maybe they all started talking about it because several of them do it since uh, the Grandpa James, that was his tradition. And so I asked Matt, one of Matt's older aunts, one of the oldest girls in the family, I said, well, you know, do you remember, like, where did he get, I was just trying to imagine, you know, I was like, where did he, where would he get oysters back then? You know, thinking about living in Western North Carolina, the sea is nowhere near us. But she said there was a local store, I wish I could remember the name of it, but a local grocery store and every Christmas they would get like barrels full of them, of oysters. I guess because they shipped them in because they knew so many people had that tradition. And she said, so he just, daddy or mama just go down there and get them and, you know, get enough for all of us and we'd have oyster stew. Just about time to eat. Looks so good. Who came to watch? Mm. Got to have some crackers. Mm -hmm. That's that's Christmas Eve tradition right there. It is. Yeah. And it's good. I need a spoon though. Hmm? I need a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out, taste it, and see if it's how it is. Mm-hmm. Probably so hot it'll burn me. Probably. I wouldn't eat that, it ain't no good. <laughs> okay. Just put it up. Now, put it up so that we don't yep. get any of it and save it for you. Is that mm. what you're hinting at? Yep, it's very good. Yeah. Could use a little more pepper. But well, you can add some to yours. That's what I'll do. Yeah, you like it mostly because you think about the connection to your oh, yeah. papa and yeah. your dad. Yep, it's very good. Makes for a good Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah, every year. <laughs>